Yo, what's going on, guys? <laughs> Jesus oh, Christ. Wow, that's, 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 <laughs> all right, all right. So this will definitely get it have a flipper reel. <laughs> Yo, what's going on, guys? All right, so I've got a video today that I'm making more for myself than anything because I keep seeing people screw up throwing cast nets online. And I've got an amazing video on throwing a five plus foot cast net on the channel already but I feel like I need to make another one to show you guys how to throw a small cast net and then kind of the differences between throwing a larger cast net and throwing the smaller one because there's not a whole lot of difference, just fewer steps with the smaller one, but I see so many people mess up. It's driving me nuts. I have to make the video to show you guys how to throw this small cast net um, and hopefully you guys get a lot out of this. So let's get right into it. So I've got my four foot cast net here, guys, I had mentioned before. It's a little bitty cast net. Uh, it's great for throwing from the bank because you can throw it anywhere. You can throw it as far as you want. It's an awesome net, but I'm gonna show you guys how to throw it. So first, I'm gonna take my rope. There should be a loop at the end of your rope. If there isn't, I would highly recommend creating a loop so that you can do this super easy. You take this loop and you fold it back over on itself and pull that line through. Simple knot, put it over your wrist and you're ready to go. So take a bunch of loops of your net of your rope here. Loop them all up in your hand here and get all the way to the end right before you get to the actual strings of your cast net. You're going to grab the little eye of your cast net here. You're going to pull that up to your hand. And since this is a small cast net, we don't really have to worry about where we grab it. But my recommendation is always at your waist level here, wherever your waist level is. So I'm going to grab it right there. I'm going to put that on top of the rope because what you have to keep in mind is that this cast net is coming out of your hand before the rope is. If the rope's on top, it's going to get tangled up. So once we got that taken care of there, I'm going to take my cast net, hold it out in front of me and watch how the lines fall. Make sure your cast net's not spinning and then grab one of your lead weights at the bottom, pull that up and put it into your hand. Now notice how I did not twist or anything like that. I'm just taking it to where you can see both of the lines falling straight and I'm putting that one lead in my hand there. Now, this is gonna create two lead weights that go down the side of your net here. One far from you, one close to you. Take that one close to you and just grab one little bundle. That's all you need. Now you're gonna notice that you've got about half the net there and about half the net in your hand. And that is all you need when you're throwing the small net. Now, let's show you how to throw it. So we've got our setup here. I've got some little bluegill right here in front of me. They're a little skittish, but we're gonna to try to catch them anyway. The main point here I'm trying to get is showing you how to throw this. Now, like I said, you've got your right hand here, which has got most of your ingredients in your hand. And now that's gonna come over the top of your other hand. This hand is not doing much work at all. Super, super simple. It stays almost still throughout this entire motion. Now, I'm gonna take my right hand and I'm just going to throw it and then drop with my other hand and it's going to create a perfect circle. Now, once you get more used to this motion, you can throw it farther, throw it closer to you. This little net you can throw anywhere. It will do whatever you want it to do because it's so small. So now I'm going to show you how to set it up a little bit faster and show you how I would do it if I was out by myself. So like I said, I've taken the net, I've gone ahead, I've gone ahead and set it up in my hand here, pull one up little bitty bundle from the close side and then I'm ready to throw and I can throw it out of And look at that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now let's move to the big net. So this is my six foot cast net. Now the other video I have on my channel is actually of one of me throwing a seven foot cast net. Now there's almost zero difference in the, how you throw each of those cast nets, so don't worry about that. But what I wanna show you mainly is how you throw the small cast net versus this cast net. So now let's do the same setup that I showed you with the smaller cast net, except this time, since the cast net's longer, still use that method where you're grabbing at your waist here. Grab that bundle, lay it on top of the rope here, and lay that net behind you there. All right, so now once you've got that and you're holding the net, it's gonna be the same first couple of motions here. So I'm gonna reach down, I'm gonna grab one of those pieces of lead, and I'm gonna put that into my hand exactly like I did for the first cast net. Now, you see these two lines coming down here? I'm grabbing that close one yet again, 
But what I'm going to do this time, instead of going ahead and making my bundle this time, we're going to take two extra steps. I'm going to put this lead in my hand here, same way we put the first one. Reach down, grab the far lead this time, still got those two strings coming down. Grab the far lead, put that one in my hand, and now we're ready to make the bundle. Since it's a bigger cast net, there's more volume for the cast net. You need to have more of the net in your hand ready to go. That's the only reason we're doing this. So now you've got those two strings coming down again. So we're going to grab the close one. We're going to make a bundle. And you should have, like I said, it's going to be the same thing, about the same in this hand as that's down here. But instead, we've got two more extra leads in our hand. Almost no different. Let's go ahead and cast this. So I've got my net set up here. Now we're ready to throw. Now one thing you'll notice here is this lead on top, it likes to drop over on the front or on the back. I like to keep that lead on the back so it's out of the way if, that, if you run across that problem. Now, since I've got my uh, cast net ready to go, we're gonna do that same motion with that right hand. If you're right-handed, it's gonna be the same way if you're left-handed, everything's just gonna be in your left hand doing the work. But that right hand is going to come over the top of everything else. It's almost like a frisbee motion. And this hand's not going to do a whole lot. It's just going to keep this net out of the way while this net does the work. So let's go ahead and throw this. It's as simple as that. One, one thing I did want to mention about this long, big cast net that I didn't mention in my first video on cast netting is how you're going to throw the net further and how you would throw it closer to you. So for further away, Obviously, you're having to use a little bit more strength, so you'll figure, have to figure out how much strength you have to be able to do this and how heavy your net is. This is not a particularly heavy net, so I don't have to do this as drastically as some nets might have to do if they're a little bit heavier. But at my waist level, I'm actually going to grab a little bit lower. And the reason I'm going to do that is because it's going to give me more control over the net to throw it further. And also, the net's going to be in the air for longer, so it's going to have more time to open up. Whereas if you grab less of the net and you're throwing closer to you, the net's not going to have as much time to open up, so it's not going to open up quite as good. But when you're throwing further away, having less of the net down below your hand here is not a problem because that net has more time to open up. So let's go ahead and do our same setup here. One in the hand, far one in the hand, close one in the hand and then a bundle of the close. And let's throw it as far as we can throw it. Now it's about, what do you say, about 12 feet. That's not too bad for a six foot cast net, so. Now this technique comes in handy sometimes when you're trying to reach bait that's off of the beach, that's a little bit deeper than you can actually get to yourself. So that's an extremely handy uh, method. I definitely, definitely recommend using that. So now I'm going to show you how to throw it a little bit closer to you. If you're just trying to get an open spread, but you don't need to get it but a couple of feet away from you, this is a good method for that. And it's the same way we did the other one, except we're going to go the opposite direction. I'm grabbing at my waist level here, except I'm going to slide my hand up a little bit higher, closer to my chest. Figure out what's comfortable for you, but get that net just a little bit off the ground, and do the same method. And now you've got more of the net already open, so you're practically doing all the work already, and you just need to drop it in. It's as simple as that. That's how you throw the net normally, a little bit further and a little bit closer to you. And the same methods apply to the smaller net as well, except with the smaller net, you don't really need to worry about that sort of stuff because it is so small. And that's how it's done. That's how you throw a small cast net. That's how you throw a little bit bigger cast net. And I'd say that this is probably gonna work up until you get about to a 10 foot cast net or so. There's some different methods once you get to that 10 to 12 foot range that are gonna be useful, but this is gonna work for pretty much any cast net you're ever gonna need, unless you're commercial cast netting. So that's how it's done. If you guys enjoyed the video, please, please smash that like button. It helps a lot. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed. Share it with your friends, all that good stuff. And remember guys, a bad day fishing is better than a good day anywhere else. My name's Alex, signing off from Lake Sydney Lanier in Georgia. Thank you for watching. That was beautiful. <laughs>